Okay, in this comfort thing, I was noticing I was in a waiting room, and you can see this picture. There's a supplier up above, and there's a thermostat down there, too. And this waiting room is notably uncomfortable. Outside temperature, about 62. Uh, thermostat set for cooling at 69. Of course, that's the first problem. Uh, that supplier was blowing air straight on me, pretty much ice cold. Now you can see to the right there is the windows. This is pretty much all windows. Uh, and that supplier was supposed to keep this waiting room warm or cool. But in order to do that with it sitting there kind of centrally located, it had to put a lot of air velocity into the system, which was blowing cold air right on me. Now here's a look at a couple more suppliers in that same room and a return air up at the ceiling. Now this looks like probably one of the worst systems you could come up with for heating and cooling <clears throat> because your ductwork is not putting air <clears throat> where it should be. It's blowing it from the center of the room and relying on volume, or not volume, but velocity to get it out there, which anytime you have velocity and it strikes you, it's going to feel either hot or cold. Okay, and is there anything you can do with this thing? Can you make it better? Well, one of the first things you do is not set the stupid thermostat to 69 degrees for cooling. In most cases, that is too cool for cooling. Uh, other things, there's really not a whole lot you can do with that system. It is the El Cheapo brand system. Well, uh, what would be the best system to use? Well, I think, uh, you know, this is a multi-story thing. You know, it's two stories high. So actually putting diffusers up high would probably not be terribly effective. So about the best way is to put diffusers in the floor. And I think they would work a lot more effectively. The only problem there is it's a concrete floor and knowing how some of these things work out, nobody really wants to put ductwork in the floor with a concrete slab because it causes a lot of problems. If you change any of your design, then you've got ductwork going to the wrong place. It would be interesting to see how this thing performed in the winter. This is a cold winter area, so heating's pretty important here. But with those uh, supply uh, diffusers way inside like that, I'll bet you get a lot of cold people uh, sitting in chairs next to the windows. Anyway, this was just a a look at a system that I thought was pretty sloppy and violated one of the first things that you look at when you're considering comfort. I should not feel hot, I should not feel cold, I should not feel air blowing on me. And of course this violated uh, at least two of the three. Anyway, that's just a short one on that.